Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this week's video I'm going to take you through the basics of using the Auto Trim and Split tool inside Reaper. Now this is a great tool if you want to speed up the process of chopping up your audio. So for example you may be doing a voiceover or you may be doing the vocals and you want to cut out all the silences in between so you can make sure there's no pops and clicks and background noises and you don't want to go through the process of doing it manually. So I've got one of the vocal passages in a track that I'm currently working on open and as you can see all the audio is already set up in there and you can see there's some very distinct sections in between each of the vocal passages but if you look in between you can see we've got this background noise or breaths and things along those lines. Now we don't necessarily want those to be as part of our performance so normally what you'd end up doing is coming up to the split tool, selecting that and then you come through, find the relevant point in your audio click create that if you find this snapping across then we can uncheck the snap to and we can just come in and we can go through and manually edit all of these pieces and once we've done that we can go through and we can put in our fades just to make sure that everything is nice and neat at the end of each of those passages but that's a little bit time consuming and you could be there for quite some time just doing that so there's got to be a better way of doing it right well there is Reaper gives us the auto trim split function so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the basics of that. Now there's lots of different options and configuration settings you've got in there but what I would recommend is using the basic parameters that I'll give you in a moment and then just tweak those based upon what you're trying to achieve in the vocal performance that you're working on. But whichever way you're doing it, it's going to speed up everything you do considerably. So I've undone those splits that we've just done. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the actions menu, we're going to say show action list and from there we're going to come in and search for the action that we want so we're just going to type in auto trim and you can see there's the option item auto trim split items remove silence now there's no keyboard shortcut applied to this so this is something you're going to do on a regular basis instead of having to come into this action section I'd recommend just either create a shortcut or add it to one of the menu items so if you're not accustomed to doing the shortcuts let's just do that quickly all we need to do is click on the action we want come down and click add and then we can use the keyboard combination that we want to use so let's just say for this example we'll do control shift and we'll say uh, what are we going to say split s so control shift and s now assuming there's nothing being applied to that it'll tell you that that's okay so we can click okay it tells me this is already mapped to an action so this is already split items and edit or play cursor ignoring grouping well I don't use that so I'm gonna say yes that's fine to override it obviously you can set it up to anything you want and I recommend don't override shortcuts that you've assigned that you use on a regular basis because that gets really annoying so we say yep happy with that we click on yes alternatively obviously I could easily add this and create a menu icon from it so if I wanted to do that I could do exactly the same thing again so I could come up right click on there we could say customize toolbar then I can bring this action section up and I can come in and I can find the action that I want so I click on add find the auto trim say select and close and that will now add that item at the end of our menu so you can see there's no icon associated with that so we could easily add an icon in there if you want to by clicking on icon change the icon and then we can sort of search through for what we want to so let's see if there's a split option in there well, we could use that, we're already using that for something else. You know, you find, find it something that you think is relevant to you, or alternatively, like I say, just leave it as text. So we'll say we're happy with that and click on save. We take a look at our toolbar now, you can see auto trim is already in there for us, and the keyboard shortcut of control, shift, and S is told when we hover over that. So we set that up, we're ready to go. So if I click on that, you'll see that this dialog box opens up. Now, if you don't have any audio selected and you try to click on that, nothing will happen so if you're clicking away and you think my button doesn't work select the audio passage that you want then click on the auto trim and that will bring that up for you so we've got some settings already configured in here they're different to what you may find as the default settings and I'm not gonna go through all of the different options most of them should be fairly self-explanatory the threshold is what is the volume threshold before this tries to start splitting the items so a value of about 30 minus 34.1 34.5 somewhere around there but experiment see what works for you you can tell it what kind of silence is to ignore this is all in milliseconds so you can specify if the silence is shorter than a certain period then ignore that 
Obviously, if you're dealing with passages of audio that are very short gaps in between each of the passages and you want to crop those down, then you need to adjust that accordingly. So you make non-silent clips to shorter than 200 milliseconds. The leading pad, the trailing pad, these are all sort of how much space before, how much space after, and so on. And do we want it to fade that automatically so we don't have to manually go in and create fades? So you say your auto snap offset, there's some values in there. Again, test these out, see what you think works for you. We've got the mode there. We've got a couple of different modes we can work with. So split and remove silent areas, split and keep silent areas, split only before non-silence and split only before silence. So if we choose split and remove silent areas, when it finds the silent parts in our audio, it will delete those sections out for us. It's non-destructive, so we find that something's happened. We've taken a bit of audio away that we didn't want to get rid of. We can easily just pull that back in. So let's take a look at what this does. Now, we leave all these options underneath exactly as they are, and we leave the preserved timing for non-silent areas as checked. So we'll click on Process and see what happens. So we click on that. You can see that now has, has analyzed the piece of audio we've got there, and it's chopped it up for us. So you can see it's chopped at the beginning and the end and removed the silence for us. So let's just undo that a second. Let's come back in, making sure we've got our audio selected, come back into the auto trim, and let's change the mode from split and remove silent to split and keep silent. Process that. You can see the splits are in exactly the same place, but now we can see the audio that was taken away in the previous method. So this is good if you want to sort of check this, do anything you want, and then you can manually go through and delete those. Obviously, a little bit more time consuming. So whichever method you think is right for you, then work with that one. So let's just go back in and say we want to split and remove the silent areas and click on process. So there we go. We've got exactly what we want. And if we take a look at the beginning and the end of these different pieces of audio, you can see we've got fades applied for us. Let's just zoom in a little bit because the fade at the beginning is quite short. So let's just go over to that. You can see we've got a very short fade there, which we can easily come in and adjust and do whatever we want. And like I say, because this is completely non-destructive, we find this chopped off a little piece of audio and some of the pieces that we're working with, some of the passages, we can easily come up to the beginning or the end. We want this two-headed arrow, so make sure you're at the sort of center point or lower. And we can drag that back out, and you can see all of our audio is all still in there, completely non-destructive. So we can easily come back in and tweak and adjust to get a perfect result. So let's just take a listen to that, and we'll see exactly what it's done. If you need some loving, if you need something, you got the phone and the number, babe. I got no future plans. So there we go. I'd say that's done a pretty good job. The fact of the matter, we can go in and change and tweak and adjust this if we find it doesn't do exactly what we want is great. But you can see just by doing that can save you a massive amount of time. Anyway, that's the basics to the auto trim and split function in Reaper. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We try to read everything you post and answer as many questions as possible. Well, until next time, happy mixing.